Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Shabby Oda Vlogs Hauls, Mum Video, you name it, I do it on this channel. Today I wanted to do a cool video, something that I haven't done in a while. And I did a massive Instagram poll. I was like, what do you want to see? Do you want to see a girl talk? Major girl talk about boys. Chit chat. Part two. Because I've done that before. I was like, yes, let's do it. So I was like, Okay, let me get ready, let me do my makeup, and let's talk about that. So that's what today's video is. But if you're new, hi, join this incredible family. Subscribe down below so you don't miss an upload. Yeah, I'm so cringe, but that's fine, that's fine. Let's get into the video. So I'm doing my makeup while we answer some of these questions because they're, they're cool. And some of the dilemmas are like, I'm like, that was me. Then, a couple of years ago, that was me. Yeah. But I just want to go ahead and put some primer on. This is the Primark primer. I'm a cheapskate. You guys should know. Well, if you're new, you are. But I'm a cheapskate. I hate spending loads of money when the cheaper version is the exact same. I like finding a, a dupe, should we say. I like finding a nice one. A cheaper alternative, shall I say? So I like doing some that what it's matte primer from Primark. It's a dupe for I think it's the L'Oreal one. I don't know. I saw someone say it on YouTube. I was like, oh, I might have to cop that. My face feels so smooth. Like I feel like I could just not wear any makeup because this smooth my face looks and feels like a baby's bottom. And let's get, let's get into the questions. And the piece of paper because obviously I'm using my phone today um, to film. So I'll fit them down in my notebook, my notepad. This is my YouTube pad. It's gold because we're going to grow, guys. We're going to grow. Okay. So I'm just going to get one. Do you think it's wrong to leave me to give on the first date? Guys, get your cups of teas, get your coffees, get your cappuccinos and your hot chocolates and sit down. Because this is a long one, okay? Long one. Okay, do I think it's personally? Yes, personally I do think it's a bit, I think, uh, when you're meeting someone, Sometimes I wish I had Andrew on here because he could do like his opinion. But I think um when with a guy they want you know they want they want a girl to be like, you know, act well, they want a girl to come across like she's not easy. And I think sleeping together sleeping with someone on the first date for boys indicates that you're easy and you can just, you know, which I don't believe, like, I don't believe. I think if you want to sleep with someone, you can, but personally, for me, I couldn't do it. I need to know that person is, you know, clean. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say what I'm using. I'm using the um, Five Points Palette from Mio. This is my go-to. As you can tell, I'm obsessed with this one. These two. They are bomb. Let's get a mirror. I'll get a mirror. Um, yeah, I just think personally, if you let the boy wait, they know that you're um you're not you know when I just give it them let them wait, girls. Don't just jump in bed and straight away. Let them wait. You know, you have all the cars if you let them wait. Okay, you have all the car. That's what I think anyway, but it's up to you guys. Like, you guys, do you, do you, do what makes you happy. Whatever you want to do, personally, it's not my forte. Is that how people, is that what it means? It's not my cup of tea. Look how lazy this eye is. Wake up. Wake up. No, it's not waking up. Okay, so I don't think, I don't think it's wrong. I just think. Um, don't be pressured into doing it just if you want to do it make sure you both agree and that's it just make sure 
look, just make sure that it's safe and it's not us and it's not like something you're not really into. So make sure that it's something you want to do, not because somebody says my opinion girls okay um next question yeah. okay this has happened to me and i used to go clubbing so the question is do you think um if you pull someone at a club and they're worth they're worth it like if it works out do you think they're worth it to be a boyfriend or husband or whatever and i'm just gonna say it i think in a club everyone just wants to have fun and just you know dance the night away and just live their life and whatever and I think if you go in there and you're just going to find someone like a husband it's not the right place to look it's not the right place to look at all so I don't think going to the club is the husband material personally but who knows like what if you missed the opportunity and that would have been the perfect husband for you the universe works in ways that just are astonishing. Like, sometimes things happen when you least expect it. So maybe going to the club that night, well, okay, yeah, like, that could be potentially be your husband. So just do what you gotta do. That's all I can say. You do you, boo. You do you. <laughs> Guys, I'm still just going in with this makeup. Like, I can hardly see. I'm using the little lens on the... Um, my phone but I'm just I've got the mirror here which is not you know the mirror's so dirty it's dirty and I just can't be honest to clean it right now but this is a look I just want to go for an, a natural like type look I wanted to put some eyeliner on but I'm always wearing eyeliner and I can't, like, I forgot what I look like without wearing on either, so. Yeah. Next question. Oh, how many dates is, is it acceptable to sleep with someone? Um. I think when you know, you know, like, personally, for me, um, loads, because I was a virgin until I met Andrew, do you know what I mean? Just put it out there, just putting it out there. Just, don't hate. And like I just I didn't want to just give up give my give my body away to someone unless I know it's serious. So it's up to you guys. Everyone's different and stuff, but for me it was um I had to make sure that they were the ones for me, like fully, like the ones that I could see myself being with. So, I can't tell you guys how and what to do, but if I can give you any advice, I would say just don't rush into anything. Don't just sleep with, it, sleep with them because that's what they want. Make sure it's what you want as well. It's acceptable to do it whenever you're ready. No one can say, oh, I can't say do it on the fifth day. You know, you might not be ready on the fifth date, but do it when your body's ready and you're both ready, equal parties are. Ready there. Uh-uh. <laughs> okay. I'm so annoyed. Okay, guys, I'm gonna, I'm really running out of this foundation because it is really good. It's so good for my, like, it makes my skin feel so nice and look so good. Um, But I wanted to try this one again. I tried it a couple of um, weeks ago. I did a video of Tess and Primark makeup. Um, this is five pound from Primark. It is, I know what colour it is, colour two. Colour two, but like, it's double coverage now. You know what I mean? So you might just, we'll see what happens. Try this. I just like trying new things. I've tried it before. But that's when it was like really summery and I tanned, I went so dark. See, look, look how dark my face is now compared to the rest. So, oh my gosh, look at that, it's all gone around the side. Oh, um, so I tried it then and it, it looked alright. I didn't want to put a lot of makeup on today because I'm not really planning on going anywhere except for my granddad's and granddad likes me and I don't wear any makeup. 
these are pretty without makeup <coughs> such a crap a crap um accent the jamaican accent isn't it okay i do look a bit darker but you know i'm chocolate i'm chocolate skin tone so okay. so this girl she chose at home with her boyfriend so we've been with him for the year they chill at home together all the time wear no makeup in joggers and the hair up will he stop fancying her <laughs> babe i chill with my weave out my hair with an afro no makeup on i look like we watched that film get out it's you know it's, it's not get out it's a new one that came out in the cinemas and I have the scissors and the going and you says the one time we watched that we watched it and we came back home and i tried to be that girl like and he's like ah, you look like a yeah i just chill like we just chill i mean we've been three years and that's what we do like if your boyfriend loves chat he's not gonna care what you look like you could be the side of a house you could you know lose your teeth he's still gonna love you i think people forget love is how they feel towards you not how, what you look like and you know what i mean so babe don't you worry your boyfriend gonna love you it doesn't matter what you look like he's not gonna stop fancying you and for you to think that babe don't think like that he loves you girl three is a long time i used to feel like that though i'm not gonna lie i used to think because I, um, when me and Andy got together, I, I used to have weaves in all the time and I never wanted to show him my real hair and it took me ages to actually be like, you know what, I'm sick, I'm fit, I'm sexy, I'm going to show you my natural self and he still loves me, but he better did, but he, I mean, he still loves me, we're still together, so I just do you, babe, to be honest, Andrew likes me better um well likes it better when i'm natural he likes me not wearing makeup he just likes me in my my free spirit skin you know what i mean this does look really dark look i hate when makeup does that when it, you touch his face and it, do you know what annoys me all my friends well not all of them but some of my friends they're caucasian and um they when they have that makeup it doesn't do that to them but for me it always looks so annoying oh well it's life so guys i'm just gonna put this concealer on my face it is the primal concealer stick in the shade beige this is sick you can see i used a lot that's all that's left I let me do that, I was just faking. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this. But babe, don't worry, he's gonna love you anyway. Like, I think us girls worry too much about what our partners think because we don't, we do not go inside boys' heads and stuff. But I promise you, girl, they're gonna love you regardless. Regardless, okay? Regardless. Why have I done it there? It's gonna make my nose look wonky now. I'm a joke. I'm a joke for a girl, you know. I'm a joke. Next question while I, while I do this. Oh, this question. So how do you bring up what you are? So she's been dating this boy for a couple of months and they got to the stage where they're like, you know, and she wants to bring up, like, how would you bring up what you are? Girl, just be like, you know, I really, I really like spending time with you, um, you know, like, what do you think is happening with us? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, babe, just be like, um, tell me how you feel. Like, because boys won't actually tell you how they feel until you actually have to badger it out of them or ask them directly. Boys brains are just 
as I don't think one. <laughs> I don't think one girl. So you would have to really like make. You would have to pull it on him. Like I really like it now. So what do you think is happening between us? Do you like me as well? Because now we get together, like we could be both and girlfriend. Just do something like that. Just do it easy. Just do you the door and say guys do you do you boo do you so i'll just ask him to put it on him and be like i like where this is going but in time i'll ask you anyway when he's ready just you know do what you're gonna do girl so i'm using this i've got this shoes girl still got loads in well not much of that but I'm using this and yeah, just here. So I can have some fake cheap bones because my face is like well, I can make it like I love this one. It's been in it has been in a relationship, me that you're missing out. <laughs> no. Like when all my friends were single, I would when all my friends were in a relationship, I was single and I was like, oh my god. I don't need to go out with like my life was like but the thing is being in a relationship does not change anything it just means you're with someone you still can do what you do what you do single like you still can go out but the only thing is is be loyal that is it just be loyal that is it like a lot of people think when you're in a relationship you change well you do but you just grow as a person i don't think you're missing out being in a relationship i just think you can still do what you do with your friends. It's just that you're sharing that type of life with someone else. You've got to put their feelings into consideration as well, not just yourself. So don't worry about it, girls. Like, I think it's just nothing else. You just, just make sure whatever you do, you're being loyal. That is all I should be. It's just being loyal when you're with someone that is it you're not missing out on anything the only thing that i could say that thing you're missing out is sleeping with loads of people but you want to sleep with loads of people anyway do you want to get an std no so you're not missing out boo okay you're not you're not is it okay to find other people attractive of course i mean and you watch the movie and i'm like who's fit who's fit She's fit. I'm that fit. Like, just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean you can't appreciate what God created. Do you know what I mean? You're like, I'm appreciating it. Why can't. I just don't understand why people. Sometimes people, like, when you're in a relationship, you can't like that person. Well you, well, you can't find that person attractive. You can. Just let Dolly go or any of and just appreciate their beauty. Okay. And I just love these questions because sometimes it's just like that was me back then. Like I thought when you're in a relationship, you can't look at anyone else. You can't think that person's attractive. But really, you can just just know where to stop the line. Draw like that line, that invisible line stops. Hey guys, again, is it okay for your boyfriend to have a girl best friend? I I wanna say yes. But I don't really like it. But when I had a boy best friend, Andrew was like, oh, I want know what boys, I know what goes in boys' heads, blah, blah, blah. Hmm? Rightly so. He was right. Oh, sorry, girl, I'm, I'm not told you what I'm doing. So what did I just do? Yeah, I just went with that, with this, to get myself some cheap bones. I'm using the NYX Genius Highlighter. Do me some highlights. Like, wow. Um, yeah, because Andrew knew what boys' intentions were, which was fair enough. I didn't see it, but obviously he did. So I know what girls' intentions are. So if a girl wanted to be his best friend, I would be like, Bitch, what? Bitch, Bitch, I wouldn't like it now. I wouldn't like it, but I can't really mind because Andrew's loyal. I'm loyal, so. I'm loyal. I'm loyal. Who don't mind you are? 
um yeah i'm not so i'm not really it doesn't really bother me so he says so if if i want to get a best friend then he can but bitch believe that you're not calling my boyfriend after 8 pm okay i'm just gonna put some here and then i think i'm done i'm not gonna um do anything else other than that but the last question oh well yeah i just think you can't have a boy a boy best friend you you can have a boy best friend if you're a girl your boy can have a girl best friend if he's a boy but just you know just don't let it cross the line where you're making your girlfriend or your partner insecure because that's not nice it's not nice it's not nice to feel insecure it's not and then guys i'm gonna go back with this and here's this one. I go back on my nails where the highlighter was just because I put a lot of highlighter on and then this just blends it in so good. So good. And then I'll go back on the dark one here. And I just go on my phone here. And go under here. And then we're done. I was gonna put some fake eyelashes on but I'm just gonna wear my glasses all day because see, look, poor Mark sorted it out, sort it out. Well, that's it. All I did was that, and then so Andrew, Andrew's like, can you not wear makeup? Because every time I kiss you, I get my stash on your foundation, and because I'm black, he does really look pretty tanned. <laughs> but guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I answered what's your questions. So for the question that I didn't answer, I might do a part three and I might get Andrew involved. So if you want that, then just let me know because Andrew has to come on the channel soon, don't he? He needs to. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. I don't know whether to do put the mascara on just a little. No, I'm just gonna go like this. It's just natural. Like I've got a lot on, but it's a bit natural as well. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you on Sunday at 5. I really enjoyed these videos guys. You guys are just incredible. Like, <laughs> I love ya. I do. You guys make my day, like my evening, my night. Thank you for just being the best friend ever. I've got my little tired on. I might just go out like this. This is just, this is the look with my glasses. No, I need to put some glasses. I think I've passed that phase of the Harry Potter stage. I need to up my game to the Kylie style. Okay, okay. So, I'm gonna let you go. Like, I hope you've drank your cups, teas, coffees, cappuccinos, and whatever, and had fun with this video because I certainly have. <laughs> and it's been amazing. I can't slept the whole time as well. So, Okay, I'll see you on Sunday for a new video. I don't know what I'm doing Sunday, but I want to do the Boom Boozle challenge with Layla because she's she's hyped me up on that. But I also want to get my mum my on the channel as well because my mum's funny. So if you guys want any questions to send in for me and my mum to answer, then probably let us know because mum is just a G. A G, okay? I'm cringe. So I love you all so much and I'll see you on Sunday. And if you're new, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with your family and friends because join this incredible family, we're sick. What you mean? Okay, bye. So now.